Spectrum Technologies, your field measurement resource, presents how to set up and use the Field Scout Soil Stick pH meter. Getting started. To preserve battery life, the Soil Stick ships with an insulating strip covering the battery terminal. To remove this, unscrew the top battery cover. Remove the battery pack and the insulating strip. Replace the battery pack. Can screw the top cover back on. For brand new meters, you'll have to soak the electrode in pH 4 solution for 10 minutes. Calibration. Fill the included cups with pH 4 and 7 solution. Turn the meter on. Immerse the electrode in the pH 7 solution and press the cow recall button. The soil stick automatically recognizes the buffer as pH 7. The LCD screen will flash end when it's calibrated. The 7 icon now appears on the screen. Rinse the electrode in water. Immerse the electrode in the pH 4 solution and press the cow recall button. Again, the screen will flash end when it's calibrated. The 4 icon now appears on the screen. Rinse the electrode in water. Taking measurements. For soil samples, make a slurry of one part soil and one part distilled water. Mix well and wait about two to three minutes for mineral soils or five to 10 minutes for greenhouse media. When ready, insert the flat sensor into the slurry. The display is dynamic and will continuously refresh. Press the mold hold button to freeze the reading. It will also store the value in short term memory. Pressing mode hold again returns the meter to normal measurement mode. Because this sensor has a flat surface, it can also be used on soil cores. Here we've drawn a sample with our Model J soil sampler. Moisten the exposed surface. Then press the sensor onto the soil. For liquid samples, simply dip the sensor into the sample. Battery replacement. Unscrew the top battery cap and remove the battery pack. Remove and replace the batteries with the positive terminal facing up. Return the battery pack and replace the cap. For more information about the Soil Stick or Spectrum Technologies, please visit us online at www.specmeters.com. Thank you.